Hello and welcome back to Learn About Eyes. Would you like to improve your retina examination skills at the slit lamp? Today, I'm showing you an easy DIY method how to make this roll of tape into a practice eye. Let's go. If you follow my channel, I'm sure you've seen my video about the retina examination at the slit lamp. With just a few things that you can find at your clinic, you can make a practice eye to refine your skills without needing a patient and you can practice as long as you want. And if you watch until the end, I'll show you how you can use these little cubes from Pocket Retina to refine your skills even more and actually see some real retina images. All right, let's get to building that practice eye. Here's what you'll need. A piece of paper, a pen, scissors, a roll of tape and a plus 20 diopter lens. You can find that lens in your trial lens box, which is available in every clinic. It doesn't really have to be a 20 diopter lens. Different diopters just give you different views. Play around with it a little bit. To build the eye, draw a retina on a piece of paper and then cut it out with your scissors. Then use a piece of tape to attach that retina to the back of your roll of tape. Next, take three more strips of tape and set them aside. Take your scissors again, cut out a circle and make a hole in the middle. This will be your pupil. Then place the 20 diopter lens onto the roll of tape, put your artificial pupil on top and stick those two things onto your roll of tape using two out of the three strips that you just set aside. That's it, you're done with your eye model. Now, to practice your funness exam, take the model you just made and tape it to the headrest of your slit lamp. You should still have one of the three strips you set aside before. Then use your indirect lens to look at the retina and practice examining the different parts of it. Use it to figure out what happens if you move your lens versus what happens if you move your slit lamp in different directions. Try to see how far out you can get into the periphery and what you have to do to get there. If you want something a bit more fancy, I have just the right thing for you. Check out these small cubes from the company Pocket Retina. They have a lens, a pupil, and the retina already included. They come with an image of a retina already in the back, so it actually looks like a real patient. They also offer different pathologies, allowing you to learn and identify the subtle differences between various retinal conditions. They also include this picture as a key with all the different pathologies, showing you which cube is showing which disease. Go check them out at www.pocketretina.com. They are not sponsoring the video. They sent me those pocket cubes for free, but I think it's a great idea and I really support that company. Let me now show you a couple of videos of me examining the pocket retina. Here, for example, I'm showing you how far out in the periphery you can see with a 90D versus a digital wide field. Notice how much more of that tear you can see with a digital wide field. Watch my video on the different lens choices to learn more about that topic. That was it for this video. Please try building your own DIY practice eye and let me know in the comments how it worked for you. And if you have any creative variations, DM me on Instagram at learnabouteyes and show me all those pictures. I will repost them if they're super creative. Also, if you want me to make a more in-depth review of those pocket retinas, just drop a comment down below and I'll make it for you. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your colleagues, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Thank you and see you in the next one.